What's up, YouTube? It's J Man, Meet the Jokester, and today we have a special guest for our bad movie review. An expert on bad movies. You know him, you love him. Mr. Tom Servo. Hello, Jason. Hello, Jim. Hi, Tom Servo. It's nice to see you. Thank you for having me on the video. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here, and Jason, why don't you tell everyone the film being reviewed today? Holy awful lie. That's right, Leo the Lion, uh, a 2005 animated net, uh, 2005 animated film that most people know from Netflix, but it was put on Netflix years after that. Tom Serbo, thank you so much for being here. We love you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to point out that this is a replica that Mama made, right? Mama made this thing from scratch. She painted it and put it together. Really amazing. And you can turn it. I'm not very good at the puppeting. It's no reflection on Mama's skills with uh, this. It's just I'm not a good puppeteer. But uh, first of all, this is a movie about a, a lion named Leo who's a vegetarian. That's his whole his whole issue. He's a vegetarian. And he doesn't causes him a lot of problems with the other lions and it's giving him a hard time because he doesn't want to hunt. Now, Jason, you're an animal expert. Has there ever been a case of a lion being a vegetarian? I don't think. Yeah, I mean, lions need, they eat that meal. Soy, fresh fruit, every day makes me say hooray. Corn, string beans. For me, it was another one of these that I found it really hard to follow because the animation wasn't too engaging and it was, the story to me was kind of boring and the jokes weren't good and I, I was watching it but I felt like I was zoning out or I couldn't finish. So but what's the deal? They're taking Leo on a hunt and then he meets a lion, he meets an elephant? It's <laughs> great to that it. Fat giant hair. Yeah. But they make him so skinny. He is, he is. He's very, see, that's, uh, if they're trying to make a point about, you know, being a vegetarian doesn't automatically make you skinny or weak, you know, there's, there's lots of uh, stuff you can eat when you're a vegetarian that'll not emaciate you. So I don't know, I feel like maybe this movie had a little bit of a, anti-vegetarian but they never make him eat meat they sing he ends the movie by singing about oh, i'm a vegetarian i'm happy about it he got up had to go find the heart of the jungle and eventually he meets an elephant and there's also an antelope in there an antelope with dentures now jason again you're an animal expert have you ever known a case of an antelope having dentures I know. no that's never ever leo the lion is trying to emulate exactly it's just not super great but at the same time I must, this is another instance where this is, we're doing a bad movie review, but Jason, you actually, it, you said you do, you like Leo the Lion, you thought it was a good movie, it had everything that you enjoy, it had animals, it had, it was a cartoon, and there were songs, right? Those are kind of your three, if you hit all the, all three of those fence posts, you know, it's easy to win the J-Man over, and you were really into it, you don't think, you don't think Leo the Lion's too bad, do you? Right, with you... So would you would you go so far to say Leo the Lion is actually a good movie? But of course the the craziest thing at the very this movie, I feel like you know it's a cartoon, but it it was pretty. It didn't do too many cartoony things until the end when it I guess it flashes forward, and you see. Were those Leo the Lion's children at the end? Children who are hearing the story are half lion, half elephant, which uh, is very, you know, I mean, what, you know, I don't know, it, to me, it, to, it was shocking to both of us. Weren't you shocked? Yeah. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know, it's a cartoon and it's, <clears throat> it's fine. The Dancing Pumpkin got your highest rating ever when you gave it infinity stars. Would you give Leo the Lion infinity stars? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, then I'd say this is, a, this is another, this is a, uh, J-Man's pick of the week. Jason, do, do turtles talk in real life? Buff is a car. <laughs> oh, this is a cartoon? I thought it was live action. I guess I need to get my eyes checked. Oh. Tom Servo, you so crazy. As always, I enjoyed checking out this bad movie with you that you actually think is a good movie. And you rated it Infinity Stars. Um, what, do you, uh, what do you think is going to be the next movie on our little movie review show? I'll choose. <laughs> yeah, before, and I, I, we should make it clear that you know, throughout the history of uh, J-Man the Jokester, bad slash good movie review, Jay is picking all these titles. We're not, uh, we're, we'll, we might say like, oh, hey, we, here's, a bit, here's a movie that you know, might want to consider looking at for the thing, but it, we never, he's always like, all right, I want to do this, I want to do that. You're in charge, because you're the J-Man. J-Man knows best. Oh, and smash that like <laughs> bell to get notification. Good job, buddy. From all of us here at J-Man and Jokester, uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you real soon, right, J-Man? Bye. <laughs> Take it away, that's not for me, uh-uh, no way. Calamari, I don't think so. Get off the table, go man, go. That's just too gross, what I hate most is just not my thing. I'm a vegetarian.